Hey kids, we're going to talk more about telling time today. Let's find out about our lesson. We can tell time to the half hour. Let's learn how. This digital clock says 8.30. We can also say half past eight. Time to the half hour. Well, we know this is an analog clock. It has a face where the numbers are. It has an hour hand, which is short, and it has a minute hand, which is long. This is a digital clock. It also has a face where the numbers are located. It has a spot for hours, it has a spot for minutes, and it has a colon to separate the hours and the minutes. Let's talk about how to tell time to the half hour. Hour hand. Look at the hour hand. Look at the number it has just passed and read that number. Okay. So it's just past the number one, so I'll say one. When 30 minutes have gone by, the hour hand moves halfway between numbers. Here, the hour hand is between the one and the two. You can see it's halfway between because 30 minutes have gone by. Let's find out more. Minute hand. We know there are 60 minutes in an hour. When 30 minutes have gone by, that is half of 60. We can read the minute hand as 30, and here's why. If I start up at 12 and I count by five each time I hit a new number, that means that five minutes have gone by. And when the minute hand is down, fell down, got dirty, we know we say 30. Here's what I'm talking about. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Notice half of the hour of one is gone. So we read the hour hand first, we say one, and then we read the minute hand, 30. One thirty. It is not 2.30 yet because we can't tell the future. We, can, we only know that this hour hand has passed the one and the minute hand is down on the six when we say 30. The digital clock is easy to read. It tells us the hour and the minutes, one thirty. Let's practice. We can read analog and digital clocks to the half hour. Since half of the clock is gone in the hour, we could say half past seven. So half past seven looks like this on an analog clock. The hour hand is between seven and eight. So we read the number behind the hour hand, the one that just passed. So this is seven. And since the minute hand fell down, got dirty, we know we say 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This analog clock says 7, 30. And I'm going to check it over here on my digital clock. Yep, 7, 30, or half past 7. Let's try a couple more. Half past 2. Okay, well, I read my hour hand first and then my minute hand on the analog clock. The hour hand is just past the two. It's not on the three yet, so I say two, 30. The minute hand fell down, got dirty. We know we say 30. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Two, 30. Let's check our digital time to make sure. Sure enough, the hour hand says two. The minutes have gone by are 30. It is 2.30. Half past 12. Well, the hour hand is halfway past the 12. It's not on the one yet. And the minute hand fell down, got dirty. We know we say 30. So let's check where our hour hand is. It's not on the one yet. It's halfway past the 12. 12, 30. Let's check our digital clock to make sure. The hour hand says 12. The minutes say 30. Sure enough, this is 12, 30. Remember kids, you can't tell the future. You have to look behind the hour hand to tell what number it has just passed. So this is 1230, not 130. Keep up the good work, guys. This is a little trickier, but I think you've got it.